Hello everyone, Yanni plays here and today we are going to install the replay mod 1.17. Now if you are watching this video in the future and you go to replaymod.com, you click on download now and you see 1.17 listed here, then just go ahead and skip to the second chapter because in the first chapter we're just going to talk about how to get the 1.17 and as you can see at the time that I'm recording that the only version that is released is for 1.16.5 now, since you are interested in 1.17, you most likely already saw this page here. And that is the Patreon link for the replay mod. Now, if you join and you pay those 1950, then you are going to get access to this link here. And yes, there is a reason why I blurred everything up on the top, because I'm not going to be the one person that is going to leak this link to the World Wide Web. However, once you have access to the replay mod here, you can go back to Patreon and you can unsubscribe if you don't want to pay $19.50 every month. Also, if you have access to this link, you may have a couple friends that also would like to play the replay mod. And if each of them chips in $5, then you're going to get the replay mod for maybe $5 or $10. And of course, once you're in here, if you click on this link, now I'm not gonna hover over this link because otherwise I have to blur even more, then you are going to get this warning in Chrome saying, hey, do you really wanna download that? You click on keep and it is downloading the replay mod 1.17 char file. Once the file is downloaded, just drag it onto your desktop. Now to use replay mod, you also have to install Fabric and Fabric API. Now I'm going to put the link down in the description so you can get directly to this site. Once we are on Fabric, you can go ahead and install the universal char file. And again, we have to say keep. Once this is installed, we are also going to drag this file onto our desktop. Next, we are going to need Fabric API. In Fabric API, we are going on to the files tab and then you have to find the version that you need. Uh, maybe you are playing on a server that is still on 1.17.0. Then you have to scroll down and find the, the correct version for that. For example, down here would be the one for 1.17. However, I'm going to install it in the 17.1. So I'm going to select the main file and download it. If you click the download button, of course, it sends you to the add page. You just wait until it starts downloading. We click keep again. And once it's downloaded, we're also going to pull that file onto our desktop. Next, I'm going to show you how to get Optifine. If you don't want Optifine, you can just skip ahead to the next chapter. To install Optifine on a Fabric installation, we have to install OptiFabric first. Again, the link is down in the description. Also here, I am going for the game version 17.1. So I'm clicking on download again, and we're going through exactly the same step as we just did with the Fabric API. The last thing that we're going to do is we go to Optifine.net and go into the downloads, and we extend the preview versions and download the most current preview version from the version that we are going to need. So again, 17.1, currently the newest one is pre-32. I'm going to click on mirror to download this one, click on download, and again on keep. Once this is downloaded, again, pull it onto your desktop. Next, we are going to click on our Fabric installer. Now, if the Fabric installer is not opening up when you double click on it, uh, take a look at the video that I'm going to put here on the top right corner uh, where we install Optifine because there I'm also going to explain what you have to do if you don't have the correct Java version installed. Once you double click on it, you are going to get the Fabric installer. Now, I am going to install 17.1, but you can uh, go down all the way to 1.14 to select the correct version that you need. Once you have the correct version selected, you click on install. And as soon as the installation is completed, you are going to get this window here. Next, we are going to go into our Minecraft folder. If you don't know where you can find your Minecraft folder, just put in percentage app data percentage in your search bar, hit enter, 
and in your roaming folder it is the very first one called dot minecraft now once you're in your dot minecraft folder just open up the mods folder now if you don't have this folder just right click new folder and create a new folder called mods all lowercase letters so as you can see in my mods folder, I had to remove a few different mods that I already had installed, mainly the voice chat and Optifine and Optifabric for uh, 1.17.0 that I need to play on a server. And uh, those two versions did not play along very nicely. But what we are going to do now is put in our replay mod, the Fabric API, the Optifine, 1.17.1 and up the fabric. Now that everything is in there, we can open our Minecraft launcher. And at the bottom, you already should have a fabric loader 1.17.1. If you don't see this installation here anywhere, you click on installations, make sure that mod it is selected, and then create a new installation. And in a version, you now should find the fabric loader 1.17.1 of course you can name this installation and then create once the correct installation is selected click on play now as you can see the replay mod is now installed in 1.17.1 and we can start recording. Now, before we render any scenes, we have to do a few more things. However, that is not part of this tutorial here. I will get a second tutorial out showing how to use the replay mod and how to render your recordings. If you want to see that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can see when I'm going to release this new video. And of course, if this video helped you get your replay mod installed, don't forget to give a like and I hope I see you in the next video.